Hi friends, Cole here. Thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to do just a quick morning sequence to help you wake up, set the stage for your day and have a little bit, bit more space in your body. Let's start laying down. I'm gonna pull your knees into your chest and just begin to rock side to side, maybe massage in the back a little bit. And while you do this, you can just slow the breath down and even it out, even in and out. And let's rock the knees all the way over towards the right side. We're just gonna take an easy twist. Open up the arms, gaze towards the left fingers. Couple rounds of breath. And you take it to the other side. Come center. Easy twist. Rock the knees over towards the left. Gaze over towards the right fingers. And slowly back to center. Let's bring the left foot down. Interlace the hands behind the right thigh. So we'll start here and then maybe you lift the arms up the leg, just depending on how your body's feeling today. So we're opening up the back of the leg. So what tends to happen is the right hip wants to come up. So maybe even take the right thumb, place it in the right hip crease and tack it down a little bit. Because the body sometimes tends to find ways to avoid the stretch without us even knowing it. So we want to square off. And then breathe into the sensation, back of the leg. And slowly release. Let's switch sides. So interlace the hands behind the left thigh. And stay right here or slide the hands up. And just coming into where you can feel, feel a little bit of an edge here. So it doesn't matter what it looks like. It matters what it feels like. So your stretch most likely won't look like mine, but we may be feeling the same thing. It just looks different. So we're just finding that, finding your edge. And slowly release down. And then this time we're gonna take happy baby. So bring the knees in. We're gonna grab on the insides of the knees for the outsides of the feet, yeah? Insides of the knees, outsides of the feet. Happy baby. So kick the feet up into the hands. The hands pull down at the feet. And kind of kick side to side a little bit here. Any kind of movement, welcome. And release. Let's roll over to one side and we'll slowly get up into a seated pose. I'm gonna take a few moments here. We'll do some seated cat and cow. So take the hands to the knees. We're going to pull forward, open heart, open throat, and exhale round. Inhale, open heart, open throat, and exhale round. Once more, your breath. Beautiful. And come up. Let's open up the arms really wide here all the way to the fingers, so whew, open everything. Open the heart, open the throat, gaze up, arch the back. And then exhale, give yourself a big hug, right arm on top, and then round the back. So we're rounded over, tuck the chin to the chest, so stretch in the upper back. And then inhale, open up into a big T, and we'll switch sides, exhale, big hug, left arm on top. Round of breath here. Beautiful. Inhale into a big T. We'll do something a little bit different this time. And exhale, eagle arms. Right arm on top, left arm on bottom. So we can eagle the arms. The backs of the hands can touch. The fronts of the hands can touch. Or you could grab shoulders as another option. Actively press the arms into one another. So stretching the upper back as well. And then inhale, unwind. Open heart, open throat. And exhale, switch sides, eagle arms. Fronts of the hands, backs of the hands, maybe shoulders. And release. 
So bring the arms up, inhale. Exhale, lion's breath. Cactus the arms. Twice more. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, let it out. Once more, in and out and release should help build up a little heat right there tabletop make some wiggles anything that feels good in the body some circles some sways maybe some cat cow whatever feels good just getting some movement you can bend the elbows and then tuck the toes Move up and back, downward facing dog. So full body stretch here. Don't worry so much about alignment. Pick up the feet, pick up the hands, make some movement. And then inhale, we're gonna come forward plank pose. So the wrists are right over the shoulders. And then bend the knees, wave the hips up and back. So we're gonna wave forward and wave back. So tuck the chin to the chest. We're gonna wave forward, puff up the back into plank pose. The exhale is gonna bend the knees, hips up and back. So that's the wave forward, the wave back. So come forward, round. And then as you come back, there's a slight arch, bend the knees, slight arch back. Beautiful. Walk the feet up towards the hands, forward fold. So have a generous bend into the knees and just hang the torso forward. Maybe you take the hands that are laced in behind the head, that feels really nice. You get a little bit of traction. And then we're gonna roll up, but think more about pressing down into the feet. And then look, we're gonna find some vibration. A little bit of shaking. This is opening up in the fascia, releasing some, some stagnant energy from sleep. And then keep pushing into the feet. Maybe lift one shoulder and then lift the other. It looks weird, I know, but it feels really good and it's good for you. Slowly come up. And continue the shaking. You could even think about having like one of those little eggs. It's like the, the shaker eggs they give to the people who can't play instruments to, to make music. Imagine that you have one of those like right at your belly and you're shaking that. So the fascia is this like 3D spider web of connective tissue that goes around all of our organs, all of our muscles. It connects everything together. It's our glue. But when it gets stuck in one place, it pulls from all the other places. It's kind of like I pull my shirt here, it also pulls from here. That's kind of the same scenario. So when we have adhesion and we do something like this, this shaking, it really, it's going to the places where the adhesions are. So maybe one day you'll feel it more in the neck, maybe one day you'll feel it in the hip. It just allows us to kind of shake everything out. And slowly we come to standing. Let's bring the feet together. Inhale, open up the arms, open up the heart, gaze up. And then exhale, bring the hands together, Kali Mudra, like this. And we're gonna sink the hips low. So the tailbone's going back, fingers are going forward. And then inhale, push into the feet, lift up, arch back just slightly. And exhale, fold forward. Plant the hands, bend the knees, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Slight bend in the knees, round and roll all the way up by pushing into the feet. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do that little sequence once more. Inhale, open the heart, gaze up. Exhale, take Kali Mudra, or Charlie's Angels Mudra, sink back. Stay here for a round of breath. Exhale here. Inhale, push down into the feet to lift up, slight back bend. And exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step back with the left foot. We're gonna take the back knee down to the ground. Take the hands to the knees and we'll slowly come up. So we wanna find that balance between the flexibility of just dumping in and the strength where we're pulling the right hip back, pulling the left hip forward. So there's this 
dichotomy, this paradox right in between these two, and that's what we're looking for. So we're looking for strength and the flexibility. Right hand comes to the hip, maybe to the floor, and we're gonna rainbow over towards the right side. So all the way alive from the fingers, you might feel it all the way down here in the hip. That's where I'm feeling it right now. One more big inhale. And exhale, frame the front foot. Lift the back knee up. And we're gonna draw back on the right arm. So we're taking a twist here. Pull back on the right hip crease and lean back slightly in the shoulder. You should feel this on hamstring, IT band, outer right hip. One more inhale. And exhale, bring the right arm towards the top of the room and the right hand comes all the way down. Straighten both legs and fold forward. Inhale, bend as you gaze forward. We'll just move back and forth. Exhale, straighten both legs, fold. Inhale, gaze forward once more. Exhale, straighten and fold. And inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step the left foot up to meet the right. And fold. Hmm. Push down through the feet. Push, 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 roll all the way up. Inhale, arms lift. And exhale, hands, heart center. Inhale, T the arms, open up. And exhale, Kali Mudra, sink low, chair pose. Inhale, push down through the feet, lift all the way up and back. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant the hands, take a big step back with the right foot. Plant the back knee down. The hands are gonna come to the thigh. And again, finding the strength and the flexibility. So pulling back on the left hip crease, forward on the right, and then letting yourself come in. So maybe on the inhales, we think about strengthening. Exhale, think about sinking in. Left hand to the hip or to the ground, reach over to the side. Lean back into the shoulders slightly. And then again, finding that middle ground, that balance in the strength and flexibility. One more inhale. Exhale, frame the front foot. Pick up the back knee and then peel back the left arm. What often happens here is this right shoulder wants to roll in and up, but we want to roll it back onto the back. Pull back on the left hip crease. Breathe into the sensation on the outer left leg, hip. Let yourself be with that. Tension, send some breath there. And exhale, and comes to the top of the mat and all the way down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend in the front knee, gaze forward. Twice more like this, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale, step forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, let's sink the hips down, all the way down to the ground and come down into your booty. Let's bring the legs out. Take one forward fold. Flex the feet back. Press down through the sit bones in order to lift the crown of the head up. So it's this pushing down that allows us to lift. So we're finding that pulling in opposite directions. Arms come up and fold forward. So again, this is less what it looks like and more what it feels like. So feel your way into a stretch. Stay and breathe.
slowly rise and we come to a seat and take just a moment make any wiggles any movements feel into the space you created rinse out with the breath and we come into stillness thank yourself for showing up for you today bring the hands together thumbs at the third eye seat of our inner wisdom it's part of the space that we're creating in order to get to know this part of us here. And we bow forward to seal our practice and together we say, Namaste. Ha. Ah, thank you all so much for joining me. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, Yoga TX, to help support us, bring you the yoga medicine, people all over the world as well. If you want to find out more about me, coldchanceyoga.com. I'd love to hear from you. And we'll see you next time on your mat.